Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome. Here we are, Monday night. Monday night mayhem. We're back. I can't even remember the last time we actually streamed anything. I think it was Wednesday. I think it was on the weekly ranked event with the uh, FR3s at the Twin Ring Motegi. But we are back this evening for some community action here within the North American Race Room. Um, Discord community, I guess you could say. Um, uh, oh. There's uh, some cars maybe in the ground there a little bit, but um, we're here, if you can't tell already, at the famous Brands Hatch, but uh, not the full circuit. This is going to be the, the smaller uh, indie circuit, as they call it, so um, you know, 52 second lap times, a lot, uh, a lot faster than the full circuit. Um, basically, uh, you cut across or you uh, would go left kind of up the hill um, into the uh, back portion of the circuit. You cut across basically into the uh, final uh, long turn there, as you can see, back across the line. So um, a British oval, sort of. I'm calling it that. I'm sure people will be throwing things, throwing things at me um, if they were looking at me. But uh, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a British oval. Eat your heart out. Um, but as I said, here we are, Porsche Carrera Cup. Brands Hatch, Brands Hatch Indy, 24 people. That's a lot. That's a great number. Um, so there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of drama, maybe a lot of door-to-door -door action, a lot of close quarters action. Uh, hopefully, not too many incidents. But uh, then again, we won't know until we're actually out there and rolling. Um, we started a little bit late. Normally we start, you know, with about 10 minutes to go in practice, but uh, we came in right right at qualifying. Uh, I was running behind a little bit uh, on some stuff, so um, we're here right in the thick of it. So under 10 minutes to go to put in your time to see where you show up on the grid and uh, to try to find some space out there to even put in a good time. So uh, as always, welcome to anyone and everyone who might be here uh, live on Twitch at the moment. Um, also, welcome to those watching at a later time on YouTube as this goes up. Uh, should be up. Uh, let's see what this is Monday night, uh, October 25th. This should be up uh, in the later stages of the 26th, I would think. Sometimes YouTube takes a long time to process for one reason or another. I don't ask questions to the, uh, the Google overlords, but uh, I throw things up and they go up when they go up. So. But we're here, so welcome to both sides. Uh, if you're not a follower of the Twitch side, um, a simple, easy click makes you a follower. Uh, allows you to see us when we go live. Um, same for those on YouTube. If you're not a subscriber yet, you know, subscribe. Uh, make us one of your uh, um, make us one of your uh, regular uh, content creators that show up in your in your uh, stream there of uh, videos to watch. Um, it's no harm to you. It's all free. Uh, if, if you've uh, found this uh, video, whether by luck or by an algorithm or just by um, repetition that you are a follower, subscriber, and that you do see our stuff come up, yeah, make sure you give it a like. Give us a thumbs up. Um, I mean, that's really... Probably the grand scheme of things, it does not really help, but hey, you know, anything helps. Any little bit helps. So throw a like on there. Uh, throw a comment too if you want. Uh, I look at those. Uh, I respond uh, when needed, or you know, if anyone has a question, or if anyone has a uh, nice thing to say, or even a bad thing to say, you know, I'll look at it and res respond accordingly. So, if we're doing something good, let us know. If we're doing something bad, let us know as well, and uh, we either continue to do what we're doing, or we'll fix what we're doing. So, um, in addition, as I always say, um, you can see on the screen there with with the graphic for uh, our Discord community server, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Find all three of those. Uh, this here tonight is all people um, who love Race Room and who are part of our community. So uh, you will not find anyone in there that uh, does not have access or is, is part of our community, uh, is able to get the password for this, uh, this uh, session tonight and, uh, and is able to enjoy these cars on this great track. So. If you're not in here and this looks fun to you with 24 people, um, you know, at a good time here at the States, uh, 828 on the East Coast, 528 on the West Coast, you know, if you want to 
if you want to be a part of this, uh, please, 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 please join the uh, Discord server and uh, give yourself access to this type of uh, environment and this type of server and this type of racing. So uh, if, if you're watching now, you should hopefully see some good stuff uh, here this evening. Um, a lot of great racing, safe racing, clean racing. Uh, hopefully not a, whole, not a whole lot of incidents uh, unless it's you know self-imposed or someone just uh, loses uh, the back end of a car uh, completely. Um, so, but yeah, um, I should be able to, I should be here the entire time, whether that's good or bad, uh, just to kind of talk about things happening on your screen, things happening on the, uh, the racetrack. Uh, I am uh, certainly not uh, professional enough or good enough to really uh, give you any uh, facts behind cars or, uh, or tracks or anything or any uh, inside scoops on uh, the folks out there. Um, so uh, what you see and what you're going to hear, that's what you get. Um, so but as always, I appreciate anyone who's uh, here at the moment or uh, who watches uh, at a later time and uh, is able to put up with uh, my commentary, my voice, and uh, me all together. So it is very much appreciated. But as we have uh, about five and a half minutes left of qualifying, uh, you can see Rudolf Stein there on the top with a 52 flat almost, 52.042. Uh, Ian McClure is the closest behind with uh, about almost three tenths behind. Uh, Mike Loban from the SRM crew, uh, he's there about, uh, about three, three eight, about four tenths back. Uh, Tom Calvert. About six nine, about seven seven tenths, and uh, a lot of people jumping around. I don't know if that's a server problem or, or what. Normally we don't have too many ping problems. Is uh, you know we get a server that's uh, in the states. Uh, everyone should have pretty good ping to it. So uh, you know it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be uh, something to watch out for, I guess, if it causes any uh, any problems. Uh, but uh, some of the big names you see there, uh, Emory Anderson. Sitting there in fifth, uh, who's that? That's uh, Alex uh, Petrovsky. He's uh, he's one we've seen uh, in the last few races. Uh, there in P6, Luke Filippone is currently in P7. Uh, in Skeddy, P8. Uh, Mark uh, Sheen, Shane. I don't know. My apologies if I've uh, butchered that last name there. Uh, he's now in P10. It's Theodore Lupu there moves himself up to p3 putting in that time uh, he was back about, i think about p9 so uh, he was down there and then um onward we go so from p9 and onward everyone's about one second slower um but there's a pretty wide spread there between uh first and even uh, all the way to p8 so uh, it's gonna be uh it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be interesting, as it always is, but it's going to be really interesting off the uh, off the line. Everyone kind of bunched up together, see who gets away really good. Uh, those who get the best uh, launch will obviously uh, get that uh, advantage going into turn one down the hill, uh, and then up the hill into the uh, into the slight uh, roundish hairpin. Uh, but yeah, Walt Graves here. Currently in P17. Uh, Jeff Lacey on your screen here. And P19 uh, hitting some green sectors for himself. He's going to come across the line. He won't be obviously fastest overall, but he might be a little further up to the grid than where he currently is in 19. And he moves up to 11th, so he moves up eight places with that latest um, lap. And if you can see there on the uh, timing screen, all but one person has a set of time. So uh, everyone's out there trying to at least uh, fit in somewhere amongst the cars to put in, a, to try to put in a fast, uh, fast lap. So here in about two minutes, you know, we're gonna find out where everyone, uh, where everyone ends up. Where is my? Is my Twitch screen? There it is.
and we're down down to 35 seconds. Anyone on a valid lap that can make it to the finish line in the next 27 seconds will have that lap counted. Oh, well, here we are. So never mind what I just said. So Rudolf Stein takes your P1 pole position with the 52.042. Ian McClure, P2, 52.33. Thomas Coward moves in there to P3, 52.377. And uh, Thea Lupu, P4 with the 239. So those P2, 3, and 4 are very close. Uh, with Mike Loban there in P5, really close behind as well. And then uh, just a little bit of a gap, about four tenths between five and six. Uh, with Emory Anderson, Alex Petrovsky, Walt Graves, Luke Filippone, and Jeff Lacey. Rounds out your, uh, your top ten there. So 23 people qualified, 24 people currently in the server. Um, now I will. Uh, completely shut up and let you enjoy um, the trademark North America Race Room Discord server community warm up round. Five minutes of just pure destruction uh, where uh, folks um, test the physics of the game, test the physics of a track, and the physics of a car. So enjoy as auto director is just going to jump around to anyone and everyone and uh, you're going to see what kind of uh, carnage and chaos people get into.
So words could not describe what you may have just seen there. Um, with 35 seconds to go here, 36, 35, uh, everyone's now going to be hitting drive, uh, get, getting the required fuel needed, whatever tires they might need, which I don't think there's any difference in tires, uh, at least for these cars. Uh, hit the drive button and getting out to the out to the grid. So once everyone gets out there, uh, that will initiate the, uh, the light sequence uh, where they will go red, they will fill up, and uh, they'll go green. So, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, in about six, five, see the last car there in the pit? It should hopefully get out. It does. So the lights are on. And they will go out. There's someone with a false start. Uh, someone had a uh, bad start off the line. Theo Lupu had a bad start off the line, I think. He is now in... Oh, no. Ian McClure, I think, had a bad one on the start. He's now slipped back to fourth. Uh, let's go on board here. Emory Anderson, as he goes through uh, the sweeping right uh, hairpin, as I call it. It's kind of a, a wide hairpin, but actually this is Walt Graves. He's back here in eighth. You kind of see everyone there in front of him. Single file line as they come up. Uh, take a very generous left and then a right into the final sweeping right-hander of the long last corner then back up to the left so there's one lap fast and easy just like that if, if lazy back here in p10 very close everyone is so super close right now what's happened in the back anything theodore rinsbury's in 17 uh mark is in the wrong spot oh he went into the pit i think he's doing his drive through uh, hopefully he doesn't get another one or any other. Uh, uh, hopefully he gets an, no other uh, penalties uh, getting in there. But uh, here we are with Tom Cowart, Thomas Cowart, P3, P1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5. They're all uh, evenly spaced out. We're sticking to a single file line. Uh, there's uh, you know, 18 minutes to go of this. We're already on lap number 3. Uh, I see a bunch of yellow flags out here. What has happened? There are a few people. Amato. Oh, that was in Skeddy. Someone else. I see Ken Garbett, Christopher Barnes, Blake. My pillows. They must have had an accident, an incident somewhere. Sean McKinnis here for SRM. Back in P12. Right alongside John Two Pardo. out, John 2 jumps back ahead there, and uh, Sean is stuck in the 13th position. Uh, we're going to go on board here with Grimy Dog, as uh, you can see there's a pretty good pack right here in front of him, uh, 7 through 11, Grimy here being in 11th. Uh, trying to keep up as best he can. Steve bust me. What's happening with him? He's uh, whipping it back out there onto the track for that rejoin. There's some more yellow going on. Who is in? Theo is wide. Theo's moving back to 10th. Not sure what's happened with him there. But, uh, he's now slipped all the way back to 11th spot. Throwing out yellow flags. Uh, Jackson Singling. Backwards, going down the hill there at turn one. He's now going to have just a torpedo coming behind him down that hill and up the hill. Jeff Lacey is going on board here. Jeff Lacey currently P9. Luke Filipponi there right in the hip. Eighth position, Wolf Walt Graves. In seventh, Henry Anderson. In sixth, I think that goes all the way up to Alex Petrovsky there in P5 in the red car all the way in the front of this. Pack, so really five through eleven. We're gonna jump back to Theo Lupu. He's right here with this pack as well. It's grimy dog right in front of him. Uh, so five through eleven are, uh, are tight. 
very competitive, very close right through here. We'll kind of stay on board here with Theo as it gives you, uh, gives you a very good uh, angle, I guess you could say, a viewpoint of the, uh, the next few cars ahead of him and, and what they're doing. We'll go on dash. There we go. It's a little bit better. He gets everything in, the, in view as he gets, uh, gets the run on Gravity Dog. Goes to the right hand side. I'm trying to make a stick here going into turn one. See if it makes it. See if it does it. I think he's done it. His hands. Grimey now slips back to 11th where he was. Theo Lupu up to 10th. Everyone right here. Watch those button. Those button bollards on the inside there. Try to roll a car. I should know. I've rolled a mini car through there. I don't know if they could roll, roll one of these, but uh, you don't want to get close enough to really find out. What do we have here? Rudolf Stein still up in P1. Got about a 1.2 second lead over Thomas Cowart, who has Ian McClure very close behind. But we are uh, we are right here. There's yellow flags all over the place for someone. Mike Mack turned around somewhere. John Two turned around somewhere. Uh, just about a yellow flag for everyone out there. We'll get back on board with uh, Grammy Dog. As, uh, they're coming up past somebody. I'm not sure who that was. Obviously a back marker. Uh, very nicely getting out of the way. I shouldn't say getting out of the way, but uh, moving over to uh, allow the faster traffic in the uh, Traffic that's one lap ahead or multiple. Oh, Theo Lupu! With a, a major turnaround. I don't know if there was any uh, contact up there with either uh, Jeff or Luke. I, can't, I couldn't tell who exactly he was by, but uh, being on board here with Grammy gave us uh, a great angle of that battle and that, uh, that misfortune there for Mr. Lupu. But there are cars. Oh, someone's going. My goodness, let's, let's do the rejoin. That is not the greatest rejoins, but that is what happens. That was Emory Anderson moving on back to 10th. And now these, these cars right here in front of Grimey are just like a swarm of bees. Let's go on board with Jeff Lacey right here in the thick of it. We'll get a little bit closer to the action. As he's right on the back end of Luke Filippone. A little bit of a touch. That is Luke Filippone right ahead. Alex Petrovsky. Petrovsky right there in front of him. And Walt Graves here right in the front of this uh, small four-man pack. As they go up turn one, down turn one. Back up the hill to the baby hairpin. Around they go. But uh, we're going to stay, let's go back with Emory Anderson. So we're going to move back a little bit. Just in the, the line of uh, cars here that we can kind of watch. Everything happening, you know, let's move up real fast. And Jeff Lacey's very close here to Alex Petrovsky, who's, uh, I think, moved one back from Luke Filippone, I believe. Still yellow flags all over the place. Oh, slipping it in there. Someone's going over the inside. I don't know who that is. Who is that? That is Thomas Coward there in P4. He was up in P2 for a little bit, but uh, must have had something happen with him. So he slipped. He slipped back a couple spots, right into the, right into the arms of these six people here. He might have maybe some damage, maybe some issues. He's, looks like he's getting uh, a little bit, a little bit extra loose, sliding out in the turns and. Allowing folks to just kind of move to the inside and uh, power right on by. 
But uh, he's holding close. Let's move back with him. He's right here on Jeff Lazy. Part of that season four GTR four, no season three. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. That season three championship with the Dom and Tom connection. Flying that banner. We're now going to be on board with Alex Petrovsky. bad spot and now he's gonna have to wait to be able to get out of there without any traffic coming it's closer under 10 minutes to go under 10 minutes to go Emory Anderson let's go on board if you've been around for some of these videos you'll hear me say that the uh, Onboard cameras really give you the perspective of what you're, you know, what's happening in front of the folks, and uh, I like to use those cameras, especially for streaming or for recording uh, here within Race Room. It really gives you, uh, honestly, the, the best look of what's happening in front of the person we're on board with. So um, these angles really allow you to see, obviously, the folks in front, how they're uh, battling for position with whoever's in front or behind them. And, what's happening beyond them a couple cars if there's that many bugs up so we may not use too many trackside cameras for this one as uh, with the laps being uh, really so short uh, the, uh, the onboards really give you the, uh, the angle and the info you need of what's happening around the person so you're like here with uh, Thomas Coward now here in the seventh and uh, is working his way he's trying to on Jeff Lacey up the small hill off to the right sweeping right down the hill and onward to the finish line let's jump up to Jeff Lacey here he's right on the side he's right the side Luke Filippone they are too wide into turn one it's back and forth let's see if they hold the lines he slides up just a bit Filippone, they're right behind. And that is now Mike Loban up in the front. As you can see, those are the those are the line of cars we've been on board with here behind Mike Loban. Less than a second uh, to his rear fender. There are no signs of anyone giving up. There's someone stopping me out there. I'm not really sure who that was. That might be Christopher Blake. I think that's a back marker that he fully stopped for. Here's Jeff Lacey. Some magic to get around Walt Graves here. Do a little blip. Uh, I think Walt Graves. I'm not sure what the heck just happened there. Walt Graves disappeared, and then the yellow flag starts showing up everywhere. And then he comes back, so. That was odd. Alex uh, Petrovsky right here at Grammy Dog. We just cannot get away from P4. Really, three through nine is these. These drivers are right there with each other. And there are no signs of anyone giving up. And uh, that was weird too. Honestly, it's been pretty incident-free from these four, or not should say four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people here in the line. Very incident-free. Um, no. No personal mistakes, no, uh, you know, no getting uh, involved with anyone else, really. Really just uh, some excellent clean racing. 
um, you know, end to end, and then even some, uh, some side stuff here as we jump on board with Grammy Dog. He's going to be, you know, this is Thomas Coward, my apologies. Let's go, Grammy Dog. We're going to see Thomas Coward there, right beside Luke Filippone. Let's go track side for these. So you can see him come down two by two. Ooh, baby. Luke goes a little bit wide, but doesn't really catch any dirt. Slides back to the sixth, but he still has uh, Coward there on the inside. As uh, man, these people are just going crazy. This is awesome. So Coward managed to get around him there on the outside. So then uh, he kind of just moves right back on, right back, you know, behind. Realizing there's about five minutes left, so that's five more laps. Anything can happen in five laps, so with the way all these folks here are going, it's better just to uh, slide back into place and uh, try again rather than uh, really push the envelope and uh, try something uh, at least with you know, five minutes to go. So maybe if it was the last lap, there you would uh, do a full send at some point. So here's a grimy dog. Hans Petrosky has had some kind of issue where he has sl slid back to almost nine seconds here behind uh, Grimey Dog. So we've lost one out of this line of people. Um, let's not forget about Rudolf Stein here. He won a uh, flawless race from him so far from what I can tell. We, we haven't really been focused on him a whole lot, uh, but he has about a two-second lead almost to Ian McClure. And uh, shows no signs of uh, letting up on that. So once we get towards the final lap, we'll, we'll get back on him so we can see if he's still up there. Knock on wood with no jinx. Um, come across the line in the potential P1. But uh, this battle right here for the uh, really the well, there's a battle for one podium position. Michael Logan currently has a P3, and we're back here right now with P8 of Grammy Dog, so you can kind of just see three fruit from eight. Uh, anything can happen. These positions are basically a toss-up with three minutes to go. And we are going to be right here for it. All the way. Let's go on board. Not on board. Let's go track side here. Let's see how it picks it up for Thomas Cowart. You should see them all come across. And there they are. And they're actually now dealing with some back markers, kind of all over the place. So to make things even worse for some of these guys, you now got that. Luke Filippone, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, that is unfortunate. I don't know who that was. But that was Jeff Lacey almost being taken out, I think, by... I think that was Walt Graves, maybe? Looks like yeah, Jeff Lacey was almost taken out of there. Managed to hold on. Walt was not so lucky. Kind of lost it there at the... Oh, oh, someone had stopped on the outside. That might be... Yeah, this for Blake is just uh, kind of coming to a stop at times, which probably is not the best thing to do, but... Uh, what can you do? Under two minutes to go. P3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right here. Grimey's going to send it. Oh, Grimey. Oh, Grimey and Luke Filippone there. Turned around. I don't know if it was aggression. I don't know if it was just too much. They uh, collected themselves there. And uh, now falling. Seven and eleven. As they'll probably have two more laps to go. On board with Thomas Coward here in P5. So now, as I was saying, anything can happen, and it did happen. There were five people all within less than a second of each other through P3 through uh, seven, uh, and now we're down to really just uh, three, three people really here for the last podium position. Uh, Jeff Lacey. 
the Italian looking livery car right up there, P3. Uh, Mike Lobin right here in front of Thomas Cowart in P4, and then uh, we're on board here. Oh, and I see. And I jinxed Rudolph. My apologies. And here with basically one lap to go, he's gone out wide, and he's lost his lead to Ian McClure, who's, who is now about 11 seconds ahead. And that is very, very unfortunate for him. I take full responsibility and full blame for, uh, for that. We're going to stay on board. Thomas Cowart, Mike Lobin, Jeff Lacey. I think Jeff Lacey might be dealing with a back marker right there on the inside. Says Jamie Morrison. And you can see Cowart and Loban right there behind Morrison now. As this will be the final lap. Ian McClure, perfect timing. Your P1 winner of race number one. Rudolph Stein, unfortunately for him, after 98% of a perfect race, will come in as P2. Your second podium position. Jeff Lacey will come across the line. P3. Mike Lobin right there behind him. P4. Thomas Cowart right on his heels for P5. Grimy Dog is going to come around for P6. Alex Petrowski, P7. Sean McGinnis, P8. Walt Graves, P9. Luke Filippone. After his incident with uh, Grimy there in the uh, baby hairpin, P10. And then... There were a lot of folks a lap down. So there are your official results for race number one. Ian McClure P1, Rudolph Stein P2, and Jeff Lacey P3 here. Congratulations to those podium winners. Well, I shouldn't say podium winners, those podium... Um, podium placements, I guess. I don't know. It's going to scroll through. So from P13 onward, there were um, lapped cars with uh, one DNF. I had a drive through on the beginning and uh, not, quite, not quite sure what happened with him. So bear with me for one moment. as we will attempt to get back into the server but uh it might make us wait perhaps throw in yeah so it's switch, switching sessions so bear with me for one moment here on twitch if you're on youtube you will not know anything going on because i've actually paused the recording so they won't see as much as what uh, you're seeing here on twitch uh what's happened here what's happened here And we're going to be back. And we're back on both sides. So, welcome back on YouTube. The server kicked me out. We got back in. You didn't see any of that. I paused the recording. We are now here in warm-up for race number two. So we'll be doing another 20-minute race uh, with a reverse grid of the top 10. So uh, Luke Filippone will should be on, on the pole position here for race number two. And the race number one winner, uh, Ian McClure, should be starting in P10. So keep an eye out for that. 
as the the entire top 10 should be uh, inverted and uh, that's where the uh, that's where the fun that's where the fun comes out because you're gonna have you know the folks who were near the front or at the front at the end now kind of start starting in the mid pack so uh, you got some fast people maybe behind some folks that aren't as fast and uh, it's gonna really uh, showcase uh, what some folks can do coming through the traffic so and we'll see what kind of starts people get uh, like we saw in race number one where there were a few that didn't get off the line probably as uh, as cleanly or as quickly as they wanted to uh, so now they have a second race and a second start to uh, redeem themselves so one more thing to keep an eye on But as we're uh, as we're here in the second warm-up, uh, please make sure to uh, follow the Twitch channel, North America Race Room on Twitch, and uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the the YouTube channel. Um, if you're not familiar with it, there is a link on Twitch. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're watching on YouTube, you've already found it. But uh, if you don't know where it is just search North America race room on YouTube and you'll find our page make sure to subscribe to it uh, that way you can know when the videos go up uh, videos are recorded at the same time they're streamed they normally go up by next day uh, unless there's just something taking up uh, more of my time than that anticipated and it uh, kind of holds up a uh, an upload and a, and a release and whatnot so you know keep an eye out out on both sides it's free to follow. It's free to subscribe. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube now, make sure to hit the like button. And whether you're watching on mobile, on a computer, uh, on a TV, on anything, uh, whatever de device you might be watching on, make sure and give us a like. Uh, make sure and put in a comment if you want to of anything good or bad. Uh, it's always appreciated when uh, folks either subscribe or follow. If they hit the thumbs up, like. If they leave a comment. Um, we do this for the folks out there. We do this for you watching. Um, we really don't do it for ourselves. You know, we're not trying to make a living or uh, make any money off this. If we do, great, but uh, it's certainly not needed. So we're doing this just to showcase the uh, the members of the community and to uh, allow you to kind of see um, how we all do. So that's why I want you to enjoy as much as possible and to uh, be involved as much as possible if, you, uh, if you're not actually out there racing. Uh, you know, be involved on Twitch or even on YouTube. So warm up has come to an end. Um, my overlay is up, so it is good. I believe. So we now have one minute, as we did in race, er, in race one, as we do in every race room session. They give you one minute, uh, either after qualifying or a warm-up round, to uh, set your fuel and uh, any other small adjustments you might want to make to the vehicle before hitting drive and getting to the, the grid. Once all cars get to the grid, the light sequence will start. And uh, we'll see the lights obviously light up, flash for a bit, and then go green. So, there's about 15 seconds. I see one car still in the pit. If they don't hit drive before the 10 seconds here, they will start from the pit. And effectively kind of uh, put them behind the proverbial eight ball. They're still there. And I think, oh, no, they made it out, I guess. Let's go on board here with Grammy Dog and P5. The lights are on. You can see them there in the green. They're off. Another fast start for Mark Sheen. Shane. Rudolf Stein here, three wide for turn one. He does even clear on his inside. 
on board with Theo Lupu as they come up the hill into the the wide hairpin, I guess you can call it that. I know that turn has a name, but I don't know the name off the top of my head. But uh, we're here in P10. You can see all the cars there in front. I'm not sure if anyone's really shuffled backward a whole lot. I'm not quite sure. There's Thomas Cowart slipping by. Let's take P10. Back to P11. Let's move up a little bit. Alex Petrosky here in P5. He's got Grammy Dog right ahead in P4. Sean McGinnis in P3. Walt Green's in P2. Luke Filippone, your pole position starter for race two, still in P1. He has uh, about a one second gap there in P2. On, let's go on board with McClure. As we come up to the right hander, he's got Mike Lobin right there ahead of him. Easy, simple, cool, calm, and collected. All of these folks for right now. A heck of a release there. It's a great exit off that turn. He's going to at least probably pick up Mike Lobin, I would think. Uh, Mike Lobin's still on the inside, still holding strong. He's saying, no, you don't. Not today, sir. Another spot on board here with Thomas Coward, P8. That's Jeff Lisi right ahead, Rudolf Stein right there, Mike Loban right ahead. As they are about 1.7 seconds back from Ian McClure up ahead, P4. Thomas is going to put it to the inside, hold his line. And Jeff is going to come right on back. Pardo right ahead. They can see 
the pack of people are right there in front of them. Ooh, baby. Ooh, that's unfortunate there for John 2. A little loose coming across. Then Skitty says, Sorry about your luck. Just keeps on going. Theo, right here. Jeff Lacey. They're right on it. Stay on board here with Jeff Lacey. Still a stone's throw away from Thomas Coward right ahead, Rudolf Stein, Mike Loban. With Mike being about eh, one second from Sean McInnes. As we go off the wing, you can see all four of them right back there. So they are close. A couple of good corners out of some of these folks, and they'll be right back up there with them. So it's not over yet. Clear what we got going here. He is about right on the back side of Grimey Dog. The fight for P2 and P3 right here in front of us. Luke Filippone right out there in front still from his pole position here in race number two. Cool comment collected. You know I said that on the race one. I jinxed. Who was up there? So I'll try not to say anything. It's hard not to, so everyone hold strong out there. Hold strong. On board with Jeff Lacey. Thomas Coward. That's what that's uh, Mike Loba. Here's Sean McGinnis right here. A nice view of all three of them. Theodore Innsbury. Where on earth is he? Way up there. I'm not quite sure how he got up that high. Up there. Let's go back on board. Rudolf Stein here. So Ian McClear was able to get by. Grimy Dog for P2. And uh, he is now under a second here to uh, Luke Filippone. So Ian McClear on the charge. Who was just in P3, got by Grimy Dog, and is now. All that he can do. Ooh, so we're back there. Gone. Death. So now, the three or four or five people that were super close there for quite a while have all kind of spread out ever so slightly. Um, still under a second to each other, so Sean McGinnis and Pete 8 is under a second to uh, on board here with Mike Logan. He's about eight tenths behind Jeff Lacey. Jeff Lacey has work on Thomas Coward. They have been what seems like for the last 20 minutes. You know, we haven't even gone that long. Uh, we'll stick with this for right now. Actually, I lie. We'll move up to Rudolf Stein. As he is right there. 
Rami Dog, uh, Rudolph started in P9 as he came in, uh, came in second for race number one. Thea Lupu into some more walls. Unfortunately for him, he will dig himself out of there and he will move onward. We gotta jump up, we gotta, we gotta battle for first. Ian McClure right here with Luke Filippone as they come up to turn number one. He's gonna stay the end. Oh! Snap. It's dynamite. Luke Filippone has uh, slid off into the, uh, the outside. Oh! Oh! oh. It's a brown flag moment when you're just sitting there. And he's now going to try to get forward, try not to get in the way of anybody. And he will slot back in probably P11, maybe P12, depending on what happens right there. P11 for him. Let's move up. Let's move back. You got Emory Anderson back here. P16 will move uh, a little bit further back into the pack. Um, Busby here in P number 10 working on Inskeddy. As they are right there. Theo Lupu has gotten around Jamie Morrison for P12. Alex Mikrowski is right there as well. We're going to go to uh, Sean McInnes. Here in P7, around the back of Mike Loban in P6. We're going to stick with this for just a little bit. Let's see what happens here through the, uh, through the hair. Oh, oh! Off-road action over the, uh, over the button. The buttons, as they call them. Out wide of the grass, over the green stuff. Back on the pavement. Back on board here with Luke Filippone, who uh, had the misfortune uh, a lap or two ago, back in P11, has now slid his way right up into P10 past Steve Busby. Uh, there are yellow flags all about. Not sure where or who the yellow flag might be for. Mr. Blake here. Stein back here with the Grammy Dog. Oh, a little bit of contact. Both of them keep four tires on the pavement. And onward they go. What else we got here? Sean McGinnis still with Mike Logan here. P6 and P7, oh, here's the run, here's the run, on to the inside. Will he have it? Will he do it? Oh, he does. Nice little move there, on the inside. Alex Petrovsky, something's happened with him, he's on the inside grass. Oh, collects. I have no idea who he's, oh, people all over the place. King Garbett's right there. Mike Mag. John 2, that might be Mike Mack and John 2 Pardo maybe getting together right there. A few white cars. Stuff happening all over the place. Alex Petrovsky going a little bit slow here at P19. Luke Filippone 
here in P10 on him skeddy right ahead in P9. Just a second. This is the closest battle on track by relative times. And he has made it not stick. Look at Skeddy come on back there to the outside. Someone's in the Theolupu. In the grass, in the gravel, in. And uh, these two here are in a battle check back in with that Sean McGinnis Mike Loban they were super close as well just a second ago I don't know who that is on the inside Sean McGinnis but I think it's a back marker maybe yeah it was Alex Petrowski there M. Skeddy on Luke Filippone so Luke Filippone has gotten ahead Rudolf Stein Right there with Grabby Dog and Thomas Coward not far behind, so we have a kind of a new three person battle here for uh, oh, who's that? Nope, nope, nope. Dude, look who it is on the inside there. Let's go on board, Thomas Coward. Now we can kind of uh, keep sense of what's happening here. That's Rudolph Stein in the white car ahead, Grabby Dog in the black and the yellow. Oh my goodness, that car is snapping all over the place. But that is uh, P2, 3, and 4 you have on board with here. So, quite the battle with uh, just under three minutes to go. contact with Rudolph and Grammy or not, but Grammy has oh, rejoin city, rejoin city, what's going on here, oh my goodness, like bumper cars up there, that is, uh, that's not Jeff Lacey, no, Grammy's up right there, let's shut, who's this, who's this red car, I mean, that is, uh, Oh my goodness, who's that? That's Luke Filippone. That's Sean, I, don't, I can't even tell what on earth is happening right now. Um, that's Jeff Lacey? No, yeah. So Jeff Lacey got to the inside. Who are we on board with? Sean McGinnis. That's Grammy Dog right ahead. Mike, Mike Loban Ray here behind. I don't know what the heck just happened. I don't know who all those cars were. I was trying to keep track of who all that was, but that was insanity. I think with cars on the lead lap, Cars that were back markers, stuff going on everywhere right there. Uh, but as that's all evened out, Thomas Cowart is in P3, Grammy Dog is in P4, and Sean McGinnis, they're right ahead in the white car in P5, and then we're on board here with Mike Logan P6. One minute to go. Um, I would have to assume they'll get back to the start finish line before. Well, Ian McClure definitely will. So Ian's going to probably push this into one more lap. As he has a five second lead there in P1. So he will come back around. We will have one more lap to go. Let's go back to Mike Loban. With uh, now P4, 5, and 6 here with all within a second of each other. The podium positions are probably... Um, out of reach for these three unless there's something that happens to uh, uh, one of those three here within the last lap. They're going to come across the line here with one lap to go. Let's find Ian McClure. He is up into the baby hairpin. I'm sure folks are going to get upset about me calling that a hairpin. I'm not sure what, really what else to call it because I don't know the names. Fire me. No, I'm just kidding. I should know the names, but I don't. We'll stay on board here for just a little bit. He's going to be coming up to the line. Let's find Mike Loban and Sean McGinnis. They're here in the back. 
coming around there. Here comes Ian McClure. He will be your race winner for race number two. Congratulations to Ian McClure. Will he flash the lights? He says, I don't need to do that. There's your winner. Rudolph Stein comes across. P number two, about five seconds behind. There he goes. Thomas Cowart, not too far behind. P3. You're going to have Grammy Dog. Coming up right there. P4 finish. Mike Loban, P5. Jeff Lacey. Something's happened to Sean McGinnis somewhere. Sean McGinnis, P6. Walt Graves, P7. Sean McGinnis there, P8. Luke Filippone, P9. He says, I am out. Bam. M. Sketty comes across P10. Steve Busby, there he is. P11 for him. Taking some grass with him. Uh, Mark. And there's your, that's the last person on the lead lap, I guess. It is. So, Ian McClure, P1, Rudolph Stein, P2, Thomas Cowart, P3. There are your podium podium placements for race number two. Congratulations to everyone who actually made it out tonight. Raced. Uh, that's a tough car. I, I can't do that car. Um, but a really fun um, short circuit there uh, on Brands Hatch. So, uh, added to the, uh, the drama and the craziness that these cars even have. So... Uh, a little bit extra. And as it scrolls through there, there are your official results for race number two. And for, oh, I think I, I almost caught it. Um, so, as the screen says, thank you for watching. Um, thanks to those who might have uh, come out here uh, for Twitch. Um... Grimy, great race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jackson, game crash. That is uh, unfortunate. Uh, but uh, thank, thanks to you guys for uh, for at least coming out tonight and uh, racing in the server. Uh, it looked fun. It looked crazy as always with that car. Uh, and Brands Hatch Indy always uh, brings the excitement with the uh, the short lap times and just the uh, the closeness of it all. So. Thanks to you two for being out there. Um, thanks to anyone else who uh, made it made it here on Twitch to, to watch along here with me, listen to me just talk uh, randomness uh, through it. Uh, thanks to everyone on YouTube on the other side. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If you've watched, uh, make sure to give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe on YouTube. Make sure to follow here on Twitch. Uh, leave a comment. Um, Watch a video on demand here on Twitch. Uh, clip something if you want to. Um, do whatever you want. Um, find the Discord um, link on Twitch. Find the link on YouTube. Find our social media stuff, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, you'll be set on all levels, on all angles. So, um, as I said earlier, we, we do this for those who race. We do these for those who want to watch. Um, so we want to make sure to uh, showcase all of our members who uh, can make it out, you know, to uh, a wider uh, crowd and audience um, through these streams and videos. So it's very much appreciated for the views, for the likes, and for everything else. So um, thank you for that. Um, that's really about it. Um, we should have a stream on Wednesday. Wednesday will be the weekly ranked event. A 90-minute race of the DTM 95s at the Hockenheim Ring, uh, the full circuit. So, uh, a little bit of a, you know, cool historical type thing there with the DTMs uh, in Hockenheim Ring. I think they go hand in hand. Uh, so we'll see who all shows up. I'm not sure if I do. You know, who knows? I might be there for that one. I, I like the 95s pretty well. Um, Hockenheim Ring is, uh, you know, I don't hate it. So it's uh, something I might show up for, but uh, anyone out there watching, uh, you know, make sure to jump in either if you're on the European side, you know, jump in the Euros. If you're here in the States, jump in the America server. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're down under, Australia, New Zealand, and that uh, part of the world, uh, j jump in the, the uh, Oceana server. Uh, they've moved those to Australia now, so there should be a lot better ping uh, for all of you folks down there. So... Um, your voices were heard and uh, all of us are very happy about that for all of you so um so yeah so we'll catch you back on wednesday um 
that's really about all I have. Um, make sure to get out there, you know, sim race it up, whether it's a race room, AMS2, iRacing. Um, I don't know why there's a poll going. If you're on Twitch, don't worry about the poll. Uh, I must not have never turned it off. We all know who won. That was NARR, so forget the poll. Uh, you're welcome, in memory. Great work out there. Make sure to watch it back here, either on Twitch or you can watch it back on YouTube probably by tomorrow. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna call it a night. Uh, we'll see you back on Wednesday. Um, join up on our server for all kinds of good sim racing stuff and everything else. Really, uh, we do all kinds of stuff. We talk about all kinds of stuff. J jump in there, join in. Um, next Wednesday or th this coming Wednesday is the weekly ranked event. DTM 95s Hockenheim ring, like I said. Then we've got Friday night, uh, the last round of the GTR4 Season 3 Championship. Um, and then a lot of stuff on this weekend. So um, it's really about all I got. So have a great evening. Uh, thanks for showing up on Twitch. Thanks for watching on YouTube. It's always appreciated on either side. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. So uh, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, let's get it done. Let's go. Love you. Bye. Have a great night.